So at the end of the last video, we'd worked it out where this the girl, Lisa, is sort of coming down the hallway, but we left it such that the timing with both John and the stage manager is broken. They both play their, their parts at the wrong time because we made this adjustment here at the beginning. And it may be that we're still not done with this adjustment, and so we don't know for sure when this is actually going to be done. So we want to learn one more uh, technique that's really helpful for storytelling, and that's the way to broadcast cast messages back and forth between the actors and the stage manager. So in, in order to sort of uh, explain this to you, I want to go over to the stage manager for just a little bit. If you look at what's going on right now, my instructions to the stage manager are for him to listen until I say action, count to 13, and then play the cymbal crash. And of course the problem right now is that the joke's not over after 13 seconds because I keep messing with the girl's timing. And so you know, if this were a real human, I wouldn't say to a, a real human, hey buddy, go off stage and when I say action I want you to count. One, two, three. No, right, no. We'd say to the guy, hey, I want you to go off stage and I want you to listen for the joke to be over. And as soon as you find out that the joke is over, I want you to play the, these sound effects, right? And so it's not this anymore of when, when I say action count, it's do something else that waits until it's time to play the sound, okay? Well, let's, we wanna add that in. Uh, and, and the metaphor I'm gonna, or the idea I'm gonna give you with this is let's just suppose that our stage manager still is pretty dumb. Right? And so what I want him to do is to, I, what I want to do is go out to my, my actress, I, I said before, for, suppose this is Jennifer Lawrence, right? I want to go to Jennifer Lawrence and say, hey Jennifer, my stage manager is kind of dumb. So as soon as you're done telling the joke, I want you to just whisper to him, the joke is over. Right? Not, not loud enough that, the, that the, the camera can hear you or the audience can hear you, but so that he knows it's time to play the cymbals and the drums. And we can actually do that in Scratch. We're going to go back to Lisa, and when we get all the way down here to the end and she starts laughing, we want her to whisper to the stage manager that the joke is over. And so I can come into the control tab, uh, sorry, the event tab, and you'll notice that at the bottom of the event tab there's a couple of things here. First of all, there's this hat top block that says when I receive a message, and then below that there's a block that says broadcast a particular message. And so I'm in, you know, Lisa right now, Jennifer Lawrence's thing. I want to actually add to this at the end that says, hey, you know, Lisa, when you're all done telling the joke, I want you to broadcast a message. And this broadcast is something that the people watching the video don't see. It takes place behind the scenes. And so we want to have her broadcast a message. I'm actually going to make a new message. I don't like message one. That's not very, that's not a very good name. I want to have a good name here. So I told her that she should whisper, joke is over, right? When, 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 the, when she's done telling the joke, I want her to whisper, the joke is over. And now I can go back to the stage manager and I can actually come right out to him and notice that now that action has, has been added in. When he hears that the joke is over, he can play the cymbal crash. And I don't even need this anymore. I could throw this away. Now once you add that in, you can see how we can then improve John, right? The problem right now with this is that John's timing is off because he starts the joke too soon, right? Because Lisa actually has a couple of different stages of things. Lisa actually walks down the hall, and then after she's done doing all this walking down the hall, we want the joke to start. And so maybe what we say is, hey, John, I'm going to ask Lisa to do a bunch of things, and when she's all ready for the joke to start, then we'll have her uh, broadcast a message. And so she can say, broadcast, let's make another new message. We'll call this start the joke. So we can have her broadcast start the joke and then go on with the joke. And so what we can do is to go over to John and say, hey John, when I say places everybody, I still want you to reset. Right? I'm still going to include this for John. I want him to go to his you know, starting location and switch to the right costume. But then after that, I want him to wait until he hears the special broadcast message that it's time to start the joke. And then once the joke starts, he waits for two seconds and he says who's there and so on. And so now, by adding in these two broadcasts, we've fixed our story. So let's watch it again. All right, she comes down the hallway. Knock, knock. Who's there? Because notice that we, we broadcast start the joke. This is lit up here because John got his message that the joke is supposed to start. He thinks about it. And then she broadcasts her message. 
And so now by using those two messages, we're able to coordinate the timing between all of these different actors. And so we can use a combination of actual timing and broadcasts, right? The stage manager simply is listening for the message that joke is over. John is listening for two events. He's listening for me to yell, places everybody, and then he's also waiting until he hears the whisper from Lisa that it's time to start the joke. Lisa now is listens for me to say, places everybody, an action. She comes down the hallway. As soon as she's down the hallway and ready to tell the joke, she whispers, let's start. They tell the joke. And then when the joke is over, she whispers, the joke is over, so the stage manager. And so by using these broadcast events, I can coordinate between these sprites so that if I want to make changes to things, right, if I want her to take a lot longer coming down the hallway, maybe she's, she's kind of slow today, so we say, eh, let's go to one full second. Right? Now, because of, the, because of the broadcast in here, even though it's taking longer, John is sitting here waiting until he hears, start the joke. And so it takes until she gets there, she says start the joke, and now he starts his sequence. And all our timing stays together thanks to a couple of these broadcasts. The idea in this lesson is both a small idea and also a major advancement in our ability to tell stories. The ability to broadcast messages heard by all of the actors uh, and received by all of those actors is a great tool for coordinating the actions between sprites. As you move forward, think about ways that you can use that idea of broadcasting and receiving to coordinate projects.